Welcome to the weekly market update from Signature Wealth Management. I'm Brian Ransom, Research Director from Signature Wealth, and here's what happened in the market this week. The stock market has been fairly rocky these last two weeks. Since reaching all-time highs on the 16th, the overall stock market has had several down days with a clear short-term downtrend materializing. As I've mentioned in previous updates, one of the best leading indicators to follow for economic and market health is the Semiconductor Index. Since peaking in February, the Semiconductor Index has been in the downtrend and is one of the reasons for the weakness in the market. This index tracks the performance of several very large and important semiconductor manufacturers that are critical backbones of the 21st century economy. Semiconductors are silicon-based electronics parts that are necessary for just about anything that has an on switch. The development of the connected economy, thousands of semiconductor parts can be found in each smartphone you use, speaker you talk into, car you drive, and refrigerator you open. Any disruption to the semiconductor supply chain has widespread knock-on effects across hundreds of industries worldwide. With the onset of the pandemic, we have seen such a disruption. During the March through July time period, manufacturing effectively shut down worldwide, causing a sudden drop in semiconductor demand. This triggered a reduction in semiconductor manufacturing that was followed by a sudden reflation of demand for semiconductors in the back half of the year to make up for lost sales. Combine that with the massive rise in demand for consumer electronics during lockdowns, and you get an unexpected supply shortage for mission-critical electronics parts. Because semiconductors are now used in just about everything, this is causing supply shortages in many different product categories including vehicles, consumer electronics, smartphones, and personal computers, which will ultimately slow growth in the overall economy. Also, the ship stuck in the Suez Canal isn't helping. You gotta move, buddy. For more information on this topic or a variety of other topics, including market updates, financial planning, and wealth management, please visit our blog at signaturewmg.com blog, and don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube.